G'day viewers, terribly disappointed here, I've just spent 30 odd minutes machining that and thought I had recorded it all but I stopped for lunch and I took my nice new Chinese made video camera inside and discovered that all the files were unplayable, unusable so I've lost all of that once again so I've switched back to the old camera that doesn't have a lot of memory and hopefully it will work for me I've switched around and gone to the other end of this part and we'll work on that. I have a lot of material removed from the centre of this so I'll speed it up and save you to sit through that. It's a bit boring watching things in slow motion. All through this project I was getting some chatter and I, I kept trying to figure out where it was coming from and I couldn't see. And it wasn't until I was actually finished that I noticed that the, uh, the compound slide had developed a bit of play. So I'll fix that before I make anything else. One of the problems with this old camera is battery life and it's about to go flat so I best change it. Nice new batteries now and we'll see how long that one lasts. That last one cut out because we ran out of storage space. Bugger. But well, I've emptied it out and uh, it's all clean. Got a nice cold iced coffee. And there it goes, look at that beautiful, as they say here in Thailand, a cafe and bun. Hey guys, oh. here. Hello, we Iced coffee shake. That vibrating was annoying the hell out of me. I expected the compound to wear in a little bit as well as the cross slide, but not that quickly. Perhaps it was the power feeding I added to it recently that sped that process up a little.
really need to do something with the way this tail stock is mounted. It's just it's horrible. I might make that the next project I do. I only have one Morse taper arbor and it's threaded half inch 20 for the chuck. So I'm going to tap this thing half inch 20 so I can just interchange between the chuck and the live center on the Morse taper arbor. Also need to make myself a tap holder. Having trouble hanging on to taps in the drill chuck. It's quite annoying really. I'm kneeling this just so it's a little easy to hang on to to screw it on and off that half inch 20 thread. This kneeling tool I have is only a cheap Chinese thing and it only, only has a fine pattern. And about now I had a change of heart and decided I'd undercut the back of it a bit and have another go at kneeling it. tool holder there is uh, it's a piece of cut down electrical cabinet mounting rail with some magnetic strip glued it's self adhesive thing stuck along the bottom edge of it to stop them from jumping off there That new Chinese made speed controller I fitted recently is doing a great job of keeping the spindle speed constant in this. There's a card up in the top right corner if you missed that video. Click on it and have a look later. I fitted back the other half of this and for the next half an hour or so I spent machining steps into this so it would be much easier to machine a point on the end of it. thought I'd save you the trouble of watching through all of that. I'm 
I machined this taper using the compound slide and the new power feed I made for that just recently. Uh, there's a card up in the top right corner if you missed that bill as well. Considering the amount of slop I found in the in the compound slot, I'm a little surprised I got as good a finish on this as I actually got. Pretty happy with it in the end. I decided that gap between the cone on the front and the body was an open invitation to allow swarf and rubbish in there, so I quickly knocked up a little sleeve that drops in there. Keep the rubbish out. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd, I'd like to hear what everyone has to say. If you got something from that, smash that like button and keep up to date with future releases. Press that subscribe button and to get notified, press that little ding a ling a ling button. That one. Yeah, that's it. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.